What's up guys, it's the Swingman here. Today's video is gonna be about the parts of minor league baseball that you might not hear about. But before we do get into the video, I will be uploading a Q&A video, uh, maybe later this week, if not the following week. So what I want you guys to do, if you have any questions at all, it could be about hitting mechanics, it could be about my career, it could be about the video you see today, some questions you have about minor league baseball, it could be the sponsors I have, uh, whatever it is, uh, it could be even about, you know, Instagram. I gained a ton of followers within the past few months. So, you know, if you want advice on that, anything you could get out of my brain, feel free to ask. And I'll do a, a Q&A video where I'll go through, I'll read comments on my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram page. So please go ahead, load it up. Uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. I'll try to get through as many as I can and make a video of it and answer your guys' questions. Thanks for watching, guys. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I hope you enjoy. Hey, what's up, guys? It's a Swingman here back with another upload. Today, what I want to do is just go through the life of being a minor league baseball player. Uh, some of the things that you might expect, but also some things that you really might not even hear anything about uh, what it's truly like to be, uh, like I said, a minor league baseball player. So starting off, obviously, getting drafted out of college it was a super exciting time. It was what I wanted to do my whole life. I just wanted to be a professional baseball player. So obviously it was exciting. Going to Aberdeen, Maryland, it's a beautiful park. Um, facilities were awesome. Fans were great. And uh, it's definitely a, a different atmosphere. You do feel like a professional. You're playing in front of thousands of people. You got great sound systems, uh, all that jazz. So uh, starting off playing professional, it is it is a little overwhelming. I mean, it's... It's what you dream. It's still baseball, um, but still, it's it's a pretty amazing feeling. But as you get into it, uh, the one thing they don't talk about is how much baseball you actually end up playing. So, you know, you go through life, you play your travel leagues, you play college ball and stuff like that. Um, but it really is nothing like playing professional baseball. When you're playing professional baseball, you're you're playing every single day. You get those few days off uh, here and here and there, but once you have a rain out, you know those games start getting stockpiled on top of each other. Um, the one, uh, my one season in 2012, we played a 36 day straight streak, and I played in I believe it was 33 of those games. So it does get overwhelming. If you're in a spot where you got to figure some stuff out, uh, you got to do it quick because you're going to be up the next day playing. And it's not a matter of, you know, getting your game in, getting some rest, uh, waking up, having a good breakfast, going to the gym, you know, getting to the park early, working on some stuff, grabbing some lunch. That That's great when you have a, a homestand for, you know, maybe a week or so. But realistically, in the minor leagues, it's nothing like that. I mean, you're every third game, you're traveling somewhere usually. And those bus trips could go anywhere between two hours up to 12 to 14 hours uh, long bus trips. So you got to imagine if you're playing a 7 o'clock evening game and it ends around 10.30, 11 o'clock, you get showered up. The bus loads at 12, 12.30 at night or 1 in the morning. And you're on the road. If you're going somewhere it's eight hours away, you're showing up at 9 a.m. And uh, a lot of guys try to get their rest on the bus. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And uh, those those trips start, you know, piling up in a 145-game season. You know, you get those bus trips in between that kill your sleep. You know, that's that's something that people don't talk about as well. I, I remember when I was in Trois Rivieres, Independent Ball, we had a 13-hour bus trip. And I luckily... Somehow I managed to sleep pretty much to the whole thing. But what I did was I ended up falling asleep on my left cheek the whole ride. And I don't know if it was my uh, SI joint or my uh, nerve right there. But for about a good month after that, my left hamstring was so tight and I could not get it loosened up. And it was from sleeping on it on a bus trip <laughs> and obviously if I had my own bed I wouldn't be sleeping like that but uh, you know some of those little things that that people don't talk about uh, definitely is a big factor when you're talking about a, a minor league career and season so uh, that part I don't miss obviously playing every day I love that part I love competing I love getting out to the ballpark and 
you know, facing some big name pitcher, you know, getting a Friday night uh, firework night and, you know, having a great offensive game and the fans coming up and asking for autographs and stuff. That part, obviously, I really do miss. I do I do miss the grind as far as getting to the park early and working in the cage and stuff like that, too. But the bus trips, I would definitely, you know, I don't recommend it. <laughs> but it is part of the game, so you have to deal with it. So, obviously, you don't have a choice if you're, if you're playing professional baseball or minor league baseball, at least. So... But like I said, the, the actual game itself, playing in front of thousands of people, that part never got old to me. I could I could go tomorrow and walk on the field and feel comfortable playing in front of a bunch of people. Uh, I just got used to it, you know, through six years of playing. And uh, and I definitely I definitely do miss that part. But um, yeah, so as far as minor league baseball, like I said, everything's still baseball, but the grind is is a different part of the game that you won't really know and experience until you get there and then you'll you'll know what i'm talking about my entire life since i remembered starting baseball all i wanted to do was go outside and and hit and play as much as i possibly can and when i became a professional baseball player that was the first time in my entire life that I was wishing for rain days here and there because <laughs> the, the body needed to rest sometimes and obviously the you know my brain did too sometimes you just needed that day off but but that's the truth of it and uh and like I said once you get there you'll know what I mean I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know it's a short one but I got some videos I'll be uploading within the next couple days and please hit the like button and subscribe thanks for watching